Hello everyone and welcome back to Thrill Peak to episode number 7 of this series. It has been a while since the last episode but we are back and in this episode I'm going to be finishing off the disaster zone area of the park. I've got a couple of stations to build, I've got some scenery to add and some shops to build you know just some finishing touches to this area to really make it feel nice and you can see i'm starting off with the steel nado station uh you can see that going in now it's a pretty basic like concrete station but it it does fit the theme of the area pretty reinforced to try and protect against all the storms and disasters and now we're making the boomerang coaster station making it quite similar to the other one actually but this one's having a sort of wood base instead of the concrete and then going for a more corrugated style roof. This one kind of feels a bit western style, but it's all right. I don't mind. I still think, oh yeah, 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 I have the concrete pillars, don't I? So the concrete pillars, that kind of adds to the disaster zone feel. The reason I added those was because it was feeling too western. So yeah, concrete pillars going in and then the corrugated iron roof going on top looks pretty nice. I mean, I say it looks pretty nice. It doesn't look like a visually appealing station, but it fits the area, blends in with the lines of sight in this area. So yeah, I think it works. I think it's a good station for this area. You can see the queue lines just going in there. And now I'm going to start work on the sign for this ride. And the name I chose for this ride was Bolt. Uh, I just wanted to keep it quite simple, to be honest. I feel like this is a family coaster, needs to be really easy for all the children and families to pronounce easily, you know, I want to go on Bolt. I feel like it's just a simple name, tells you obviously the lightning theme, so it works. I think it's a good name. And there we go, Bolt is the name of that boomerang coaster. Anyway, now I'm making the queue for Meteor. I don't know if I've mentioned this in the last episode, but it's basically a drop tower that goes into a crater and it's really really tall and gives great views across the whole park but it's most unique for the fact that it does dive into a crater like if you're looking at this from anywhere in the park it just looks like it vanishes just into the ground i mean it's a pretty cool effect i'm not gonna lie um yeah but i just built up the crater walls to make it feel good from the sort of disaster zone side as well not just everywhere in the park it's got to look good in the area it's in as well. So then I had a look at what I can do for the finishing touches of scenery. I added some dead trees around everywhere, looking good. And I also added lots of rocks around, sort of just did some stuff with the terrain, made it a lot rougher. You can see loads of trees are going in now. All the dead ones because, you know, it wouldn't make loads of sense to have a big bustling forest in the middle of a... Um, disaster ravaged zone but you know there we go so dead trees all around lots of cars that are just sort of smashed up burnt around i put a little tour truck in there i don't know why but it's in there and there's a rock on top of it a crashed plane into the earthquake it's a bit random but adds to the theming i guess and there's another one going in a little bit less visible that one but still looks pretty good i think and now I think I added, yeah, I tried to add a little bit of colour to this area. Because I kind of walked through it from the guest perspective. It's just a bit like, right, I get the area's bleak, but it's really bleak. So I added some trees around just to add a bit of greenery to the area. I also did make all the dirt a little bit greener as well. You'll see that later on. But you can see some rocks going on where the foot of the supports are. Just to sort of add a bit more of a natural feel instead of just a block of concrete it looks like it's blending into the surroundings a bit more even though there's steel poles coming out of them but we don't question that it's it's supports you know i mean without them the coaster would fall over so they're, they're needed it'll be fine just put some rocks around the bases and it looks great uh you can see i might have we might have seen that I've changed the colour of the ground, like I said I was going to do. Just made it slightly greener. And I also changed the colours of the supports for Bolt, made them yellow, more like lightning bolts, and spaced them out a bit more instead of just having walls of yellow supports. Um, this is a toilet block. That's about all there is to say about it. 
it's just a toilet block, isn't it? Again, not the most interesting, but I'm trying to keep this park somewhat realistic as much as I can. So, I mean, toilets are a realistic thing. It's kind of necessary. So, yeah, toilet block. In it goes. Looks like a toilet block. Great. Uh, no, it's fine. It's the right sort of building style for the area. And I think I had one more building, and this is a shop. I can't remember what shop I went for. Oh, yeah, it was like sandwiches, baguettes sort of thing. It doesn't really fit the theme, but I wanted to keep it basic. Nothing like super themed up and everything for an area that's just meant, could be anywhere, really. It's just like a disaster zone somewhere where loads of disasters happen. That's the theme of this area, as you probably know from now. There you go. Sign in, baguettes. I doubt it only does forget. But there you go. That's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and goodbye.